Good morning, everybody. So, today, I know you all basically just sat down, but stand up. Okay. And you can do this in place, or you can maybe do it in like a little circle, but everyone just do some walking right now. Just take a little walk. Maybe you can walk over somewhere and then walk back. But just do a little bit of walking, right? Walk around. Maybe walk, say hi to someone, come back, right? Nice and easy, right? All right. Then you guys, then you guys can have a seat, right? Okay. So walking is pretty easy, right? For the most part, once once you learn how to walk, it is you know simple, pretty easy to do, right? And there's many different types of walking, though, right? Sometimes walking can get a little difficult. Right? Um, sometimes walking can be fun. Sometimes walking might be boring, things like that, right? Sometimes you're walking, you don't really want to walk. Maybe you're walking through the store and you just would rather be doing something else, right? Or sometimes you're walking and, like I said, it could get difficult. Maybe you've ever walked up a huge hill or a mountain, right? It gets a little bit difficult at times, right? Or I unfortunately. It didn't work out for today. I was hoping there was going to be snow, and for maybe a lot of people, they're like, thank goodness there still isn't snow. But for me, I do, I do like snow, and I brought this shovel, and sometimes walking through snow can get very difficult, right? If you've ever walked through deep snow, right, it can be really difficult. You might have to lift your legs really high, right? Or it can be slippery, right? right? You're walking, and maybe there's some ice, and you might be slipping, right? And so I brought this shovel because what usually do you do with a shovel like this? Yeah, you scoop the snow. Yeah, yeah, scoop the snow to like clear a path, right? So, yes, it's easier to walk, right, when there's a path through the snow. So, today, in the Old Testament lesson, it talked a couple times about walking, right? The first time, it mentioned walking in the ways of the Lord, right, in the paths of the Lord. And so, when we hear that, right, we just did some walking, some easy walking, right? So, yes, there are times when it's easy, but like we said, there are also times when it's difficult, like through the snow, or walking up a mountain, or a big hill, right? Sometimes you get real tired. And it's easier if there's a path, or if you're walking through the woods. Sometimes you got to step over sticks, there's big logs, there's things in the way, and it'd be easier if there's a path. And so that first one was walk in the path of the Lord, or walk in the ways of the Lord, right? So it's easier to walk if there's a path. And then we also heard that you know, we want to walk in the light of the Lord. How many of you have tried to go throughout your whole day with your eyes closed, not being able to see where you're going? Anyone done that the whole day? Wow, it's impressive. <laughs> I couldn't do it. I know I couldn't do it, right? You wouldn't be able to see where you're going. You wouldn't be able to, you know, get to your destination. Probably wouldn't be able to drive. Yeah, exactly. You definitely wouldn't be able to drive. Yeah, yeah. you can't walk up the stairs, all these different things, right? It'd be very difficult. So, again, we, ne we need to be able to walk, and you need the light, right? You need the light to walk. And so, yes, in these verses, we hear that God, Jesus, he is preparing this way for us, right? And things can get very difficult, right? <laughs> things can get very difficult in our life, and we need the light to see where we're going, and we need a path, right, to guide us. And so also, if you take a look behind you, right, in the very middle, there's a path, right? There's a path going up the middle. There's also some paths on the side, right? Do you ever see anyone stepping over all of the pews to get to their seat? No, right? Why not? Because that'd be difficult. And you also might trip and fall over, right? Or crawling under, I might bang my head on one of them. I've done that before. Don't ask me why I was under the pews, but yes. So 
it's easier when you have a path, right? And so that's what it's talking about, right? When we're walking, yes, times may get difficult, right? But all of that will come to pass, right? As Pastor will probably talk about. And yes, Jesus, God, he prepares the path for us. He's preparing the way for us. And that is also what Advent's all about. If you look at the candle over there that's lit, we are in Advent. We are preparing for Jesus. We are preparing for Jesus to come. So, will you guys fold your hands and say a prayer with me? Dear Jesus, prepare the path for your coming. Help us to look to you and your birth. In your name we pray. Amen. All right. Thank you guys for coming up.